Hi, I've got to remember how to do this. Welcome back to Grow Messy. I'll be your host. <laughs> My name is Danielle. We are out in Boyd, Texas. Um, we're also on Instagram if you want to follow us over there at Grow Messy. Grow Messy is created to inspire you, to encourage you, to um, give you that confidence to garden uh, and do the hard things that you may not know how to do because what is life if not messy? So in order to grow, we want to grow messy. We want to learn from our failures and our successes and um, just hit the ground running with it. So yeah, um, it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. I haven't done a YouTube video in like forever, but I do have a few on our YouTube page. So go back through and watch them. And there's a lot of good content on there from last year's season. Um, this year we're starting off with some seed starting. And honestly, I'll probably go through some of my worm um, content as well. <clears throat> so for those of you that don't know, um, I went to Tarleton State University, got a degree in horticulture and landscape management um, back in 2010. So it's been a minute. I've also had two kids since then. So a lot of my knowledge is gone. So I'm kind of just kind of re getting into everything. Um, I am currently the vice president for the Wise County Horticulture Club here in Decatur, Texas. Um, that's new and it's exciting. So um, I'm proud of that. I I do a little bit of everything. We've got 29, I think 29 or 28 chickens here on the farm. And I worm farm. I have a couple of worm farms. I have one's not currently going, um, but I have one that's pretty successful that actually needs to be reset. And by reset, you'll learn, is just where we um, do exactly that. Reset the bin, pull everything out of the bin, relayer it, put our worms back in and let them do their thing. So worm, worm farming is good for like your natural fertilizers, adding that microorganisms back into the soil, um, a soil aggregate, things like that to avoid like soil erosion um, and water retention. Water retention or tension. I can never get that right. Anyway, so I'm not an expert. We're just kind of hanging out over here um sharing our life and our experience and what we're doing and a lot of it's not great timing i'm behind on a lot of things like a seed starting should have been in early january it is march <laughs> so march 2nd march 2nd yeah march 2nd anyway but i'm gonna do it anyway because better late than never so i'm gonna start some seeds today i'm gonna get some seed um <clears throat> what do you want to call it material dirt, soil, seed starting mix, mix together and add my worm compost into it for my natural fertilizer. And we're gonna go from there. So hope you guys stick around and be sure to hit that uh, follow, like, subscribe button, whatever button you can find um, to stay in tune with our channel. We really appreciate it. red wasps are trying to get me um so if you notice i'm in a boot i have this thing called plantar fasciitis i don't know it's like a piece of my heel that grew an extra little humpy hump and it hurts like some you know so they want me in this boot for like a month and then i gotta go back in and i don't know talk about steroid shots or surgery i don't know we'll see what happens so we're on like day five so five six four i don't know so that's why I got a boot on. I ain't broken. We'll be all right. Anyway, I'm gonna fill up my dirt bucket. I have this blue trash can in here that I have filled up with like a peat moss. Pretty sure it's straight peat moss and it's real dry. So I have a bucket of water that is currently what they call dechlorinating. Um, I've got it sitting out in the sun. Hoping to, you're supposed to let it, I think, 
go for 24 hours, but we ain't gonna do that. And then I have this other little tub in here with some dirt in it. Um, and my mixture is gonna be mostly peat moss, vermiculite, perlite, and worm, either castings or compost, I hadn't decided yet. I want the worm stuff in there for the fertilizer and everything else, I want it to be nice and fluffy and easy for my little seedlings to wiggle their way to the top and flourish. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna fill up this little bucket so I can find all of my uh, seed starting pots and get them filled up. Let's go get some perlite vermiculite out of the shop. We got chickens dust bathing over here in the track. And we got our motocross team cleaning off their dirt bikes. So we'll introduce you to the team here. The height of the girls. Some of the girls getting their little dust bathing. making this mixture I think the rule of thumb is like a one to one to one right so you want one part perlite one part vermiculite one part uh, peat, peat moss with your fertilizer mixed in you can use any fertilizer I highly recommend the worm fertilizers because well it's cheaper it's better um, it's got a lot of uh, like those microbial dills scientific swear I went to college um, anyway it's just better for your soil and better for your plants and that's what you want man it is hot this um, greenhouse we built it last year and we had some hailstorms come through well it busted out my entire roof so I got like massive holes so every time it rains it fills up in the bottom everything gets ruined so that's on the agenda this year is to fix that. Um, I just don't know when, because you know, that stuff costs money. I want a budget. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that into there and then add a little bit more peat moss. And then we'll go up to the house and we'll get some of the worm casting slash compost. Actually, I probably need to check the shop first and see if I have any in there. I'm gonna use a shovel since I added some water. Man, it's already soaked all that water up. I don't want to add seeds to a dry mixture. And another thing we'll get into later on, probably not now, because I just don't feel like it, even though it's so much easier, is soil blocks. So if you're not familiar with soil blocking, it's ideally, a more cost-effective way to start your seedlings. You start them in what they call soil blocks. So you're doing the same mixture, but instead of putting it in say like a pot, so have all these little plastic pots, you use one of these things and you make your own little soil blocks. Which is a great technique and you can actually get more of them and then you're not buying all these little pots. You're just using soil blocks and you would just water from the bottom. You can tell I hadn't been on YouTube in a minute. <laughs> So bear with me on, on content. Plus it's hot in here. Let me figure out how to better ventilize, making up words, um, this greenhouse. So it's still pretty dry. I'm gonna go get some more water and I'm gonna fill, fill it up. Okay, add these two in my bucket. 
mix that up. And this peat moss, I mean, it just soaks up that water, which is good. It's what you want. So when you want, when you plant your seeds, you want a good moist mixture. For water. All these big chunks I pull out because you don't want your seed hitting this and getting stunted and not wanting to go past it. And then it doesn't make it to the surface. Therefore using all of its energy to get to the surface. Leading in, it doesn't provide nothing for you because it couldn't get enough energy from taking out all the chunks that are in here. I want it as seamless as possible. Okay, I'm gonna get this going and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so for soil blocks, you really want your mix to be almost like a soupy kind of consistency. That way you can really pack it into your soil box. And kind of, I would say kind of the same thing goes for your, um, your seed pods. I lost my water. All right, we're gonna go up to the garage, see if we can get some of the worm compost, worm castings. I probably need to check shop first, see if I have any extra. Let's do that. And then we'll add the worm castings and or compost into the seed starting mix. And then we'll uh, go pick out some seeds to start. What do you think? So when I tell you that I have the most basic worm farm there ever was, um, I'm for real. This is my setup right here. This is my worm farm. This big cattle cube bucket that my father-in-law and my mother-in-law graciously gifted me. <laughs> it's been a game changer. It definitely holds moisture well. There's no holes in the bottom. Um, my worms thrive in it. It's easy to feed. Um, it's not easy to harvest. That's the only downfall because it's so big and heavy that harvesting it makes it really, really challenging. Um, which is why I probably don't harvest as much as I should. <laughs> But we're gonna see if I can get anything out of it um, to be able to start some seeds. That's, that's the plan. Okay, so I've got my tools in here. Mm. Looks like I've got some sort of spider mites or something. This thing is plum full. Of worms. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to show you. Come here. See if I can get this. I mean, it's like you're talking like plum full of worms. And it is very, very moist. But they don't seem to mind. I mean, there are worms on worms on worms in here. Just having a grand old time. So I think I might do that today. This really needs to be reset. This is way, in my opinion, too moist. And I don't even know if I will be able to harvest any of this to use for my seedlings because it's... Well, I mean, I might. I'm just gonna have to figure out how to get all these worms out. I'm like rocking their world right now. So before I would put all of these worms on a table and then separate them out. But let me tell you, that takes, that takes some time. There is like, there's a little bit of perlite and vermiculite left. But other than that, and there's a few leaves. Most of this stuff has already been broken down significantly. There's just worms on worms on worms. It's nothing but worm castings and worms. I mean, this is just wild. That's insane. It's a worm ball. All the way to the bottom. Nothing but worms. And this dark 
compost. Because I'm going to use these five gallon buckets and I'm going to start like mini worm farms to be able to separate some of this and kind of dry some of it out and then uh, relayer it with some good, um, you know, browns, greens, things like that. So when you layer your worm farm, you want a good, healthy uh, mixture of browns, greens, and grit for these worms to survive. So that's like shredded cardboard, leaves, mulch, um, healthy grass clippings. Um, your grit would be like perlite or vermiculite um, or sand. Grass clippings would be another good one. Shredded paper, cardboard. Did I ever say that? <laughs> So that's gonna that's gonna be my goal for these next two days is to get this worm population separated because I think they've uh, maxed out this worm farm and once they start maxing it out, what they'll do is they'll start escaping, which I think is what's already happening because I got a few dried worms on the top cover. Um, and that's not a good thing. I don't want my worms to escape. I want them to be healthy, happy, and, you know, thrive in their environment. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to separate some of this so I can get some for my seed starting mix. Ready, go. All right, let's take this beautiful Jeep. <laughs> she my dream car. You like her? I love her. I'm going to take the Jeep down there because I have this boot on and I don't feel like walking. Don't tell anybody because you're not supposed to drive with this boot on, but I'm only driving down the shop. I won't even hit the gas. Just keep it on the brake. So that's what I'm going to do today and tomorrow. Probably finish this video tomorrow. But if I do forget, I'm going to tell you guys, hit that subscribe button so that way I keep making these videos. Because if you ain't going to show up, neither am I. So, I also want to let you know that we're on Instagram, at Grown Messy. Get over there and hit that follow button and watch some of my reels that are on there. They're pretty funny. Um, and like a few of them, will you? I mean, thanks. That's that's what we're doing over here on Grown Messy. I hope you guys um, have fun over here and enjoy my content. And hopefully we'll get you some more content uh, soon. And... Um, yeah, girl messy.